Let's say one day you come up with an idea for a product that's gonna revolutionize the way people read. With the help of your device, people will be able to read twice as fast. And that's super helpful for a lot of people. Think of all those late nights you spent studying, or all the stories that you don't have time to finish. And it seems like an idea that could make enough money to support you while you get to work on one of your passions. All things books. Win-win. But after launching your business, you start to hit some roadblocks. The money coming in and going out is all mixed up, and even though you filed your taxes, you can't shake the feeling that you didn't quite do everything right, which is scary. Your supplier's prices go up, but you're worried about charging your customers more. You've had to hire some people, but it turns out that benefits are a much bigger piece of the compensation than you had anticipated. And oh no, you've also got a competitor that's doing stuff that you think is shady, but how are you going to compete? Suddenly, you're brilliant. Brilliant Ultra Reader 6000 doesn't seem like such a great idea, and you're starting to drown in an ocean of doubt. But all hope is not lost, because if you chose business as your major, you will learn the skills and knowledge you'll need to put a lot of that doubt behind you and run a profitable business. Even if you don't dream of starting your own business, you might be fascinated by the interconnected systems that move goods, people, and ideas all around the globe. Or you might be super interested in how teams work in different situations situations and how they can function better. Or how businesses can make money and care about their communities and the planet, and the ethics involved in different decisions. Hi, I'm Hank Green, and welcome to Fast Guides, a study hall series presented in partnership with Arizona State University and Crash Course. In this episode, we will be focusing on the business major. Business. What is business? It's sort of the umbrella term under which all the activities that go into producing and buying and selling goods and services to make money fall. You make something people want or help people solve problems, and you also have a way to make enough money doing it that you can keep buying the raw materials and paying the people necessary to make the thing or solve the problem. And there are lots of reasons to start a business. Like maybe you want to create a space where creators collaborate to sell merchandise to their fans in order to build community and help them keep making cool stuff. Or maybe you want to start an awesome socks subscription to bring people high-quality socks and donate all the profits to charity. Or maybe you want to make educational content on YouTube because Guess what? Every YouTuber who makes money is a small business. In case you didn't know this, those are all things that I have done. In addition to hosting YouTube videos, I run companies. There are so many good ideas out there, and when a product or idea or system is valuable enough that it can make the money necessary to sustain it or even grow it, that's a really good outcome. So studying business isn't all about the bottom line. Many entrepreneurs have used their expertise and knowledge of the marketplace to create products that improve on age-old traditions and do so in a way that tries to make the world a better place. Like, the laundry detergent industry has looked pretty much the same and contributed to plastic waste for decades. But this created an opportunity in the marketplace. Today, you can buy plastic-free laundry detergent sheets that are better for the environment and have resulted in a strong business that can continue to grow and make money over time. And those businesses wouldn't be able to function without other people who know how to keep the company running by managing people, money, logistics, and more. Basically, the world needs forward-thinking business majors of all types to help society keep innovating. Now, before we dive too far into the business major, we should probably say that it is possible to major in straight-up business, but it's also possible to major in a more targeted business-related field like finance or supply chain management. Here, we're going to focus on the general business major, which usually requires taking classes in some of these more specific fields. That might include basic accounting, economics, marketing, and other foundational courses to help you develop a base-level understanding of how the flow of money works in a successful business. Your business major coursework will probably also include a statistics or data analytics class, since data is essential to a lot of business functions. In statistics, you'll learn some essential business skills like inference, probability, hypothesis testing, and regression analysis, which will help you understand what's happening financially with your business, as well as make predictions. Later in your degree, you might move on to courses about business law and 
and ethics, where you will learn how to produce things or exchange goods and services in a moral or ethical way and navigate challenging situations. Learning business ethics will help you build a strong business and avoid breaking laws. Or you might take an international business course that covers how different cultures, laws, and imports and exports from other countries affect individual businesses. For instance, in an international business or economics course, you might learn about economies of scale, which is the concept that the more of something you produce, the cheaper it is to make. Let's use cars as a hypothetical example. When you make one car, you have to buy the materials, like steel and electronics, and pay for the labor to assemble and produce the cars, which can be costly and pretty inefficient for just one car. If you're making a thousand cars, maybe you save money on the steel and the electronics because shipping enough for a thousand cars doesn't take a lot more effort than shipping enough for one car, and maybe you create efficient methods to assemble the cars to save money on labor. There are a lot of economies of scale, that's just a quick example. But basically, if you're spreading the costs between a thousand cars instead of just one, each car costs less to make. This can have dramatic effects on what types of businesses are able to function in different countries. Like if China is able to make a lot of cars pretty cheaply using economies of scale, it makes more sense for some place that's rich in oil, like Saudi Arabia, to focus their resources on producing oil as opposed to, say, car parts. By importing car parts instead of making them themselves, Saudi Arabia is able to produce even more oil, bringing the total cost down and making it more profitable, which means more money is left over after paying the costs. We just talked about cars and oil, but there are so many more connections all over the world that influence the lives of so many people, and this is just one example of what you will learn in a business degree. So some of your required courses will, of course, involve math, like accounting and statistics, but in other classes you will spend time reading and discussing case studies that address concepts like scalability, supply and demand, or economies of scale, as we just discussed. And depending on your school, you might even choose a concentration for your business major and take multiple courses in that area. What counts as a concentration and what is an entirely different major varies from program to program, but you might focus on topics like global leadership, human resources, or tourism. Now that was just a snapshot of what you will study in a business major, and you might already be able to tell that it is a wide field with something for almost everyone. So you might wonder how to tell if business is the right major for you. Well, if you tend to lean on data to make decisions, and you have strong mathematical and analytical skills, then business might be the right major for you. You might also thrive as a business major if you're interested in the inner workings of managing and running a successful business, if you have a deep desire to work for yourself, or if you carry an entrepreneurial spirit that you're excited to develop and grow. Or you might be interested in developing some of the valuable skills learned by business majors like negotiation, leadership, networking, and decision-making, not to mention developing ideas and problem-solving based on quantitative information. If you'd like to pair your business major with another area of study as a second major or a minor, the good news is the opportunities here are endless. Getting a degree in business means that you can apply your expertise to literally any field, since basically all fields are interested in creating and sharing value of some sort. Every field has a business side to it. Whether you pair your business degree with sculpture and start your pottery empire, or pair it with a degree in restaurant management to run your family tie place, or pair it with a degree in music to help artists manage their tours and royalties, you're going to be in good shape with a business degree. But even though there are lots of opportunities, the business major can have some pitfalls to be aware of. The entrepreneurial spirit itself is an emblem of resilience. As entrepreneurs, we roll with the punches. We are adaptable and persistent. But even the best of us face challenges. Business majors sometimes struggle with the heavy math-based workload. Sometimes when you're focused on your potential future business, it's hard to put in the work to ace your math tests. But the math and data analytics you learn while studying business is critical to your future success as a business person. So be aware that, yes, most business majors do have to take math and statistics courses. And think about organizing your schedule to take a lighter course load if you think you're going to need to devote extra time. If it gets to be too much, you can always seek out help through tutors and study groups to stay up to speed. You can also pivot to a degree with a different type of math requirement, like organizational leadership or communications, depending on your school. In general, if you discover early on in your major that a degree in business might not be exactly right for you, it's possible that you could switch to a major with similar courses, like economics, if you prefer learning 
learning about history, philosophy, and theories on how we use resources. Or you might be able to turn to a more targeted business degree like finance if you prefer learning more specifically and in depth about financial markets. If you do stick with the business major, immediately after graduation, business majors can enter the workforce or even start their own business to start building experience. Though like with other majors, grad school is an option, but usually only higher level management positions require a graduate degree like a master's of business administration. Once you get out there, many business graduates find the lifestyle in the field of business can be very fast paced. In addition to busy work days, you might find yourself spending some of your free time networking with potential customers and future business partners. But in general, it is important to strike a healthy work-life balance. You may even be able to choose your own hours if you start your own business, and who doesn't want to be their own boss? Now, talking about salaries is hard because they can vary greatly depending on location and experience and industry, but the average salary for a recent graduate with a standard bachelor's degree in business is $50,000 per year. But again, it depends on the job. A relationship banker who helps clients make decisions about their bank accounts can start out making around $44,000 per year. Or you could be a business operations manager who helps different departments in a company coordinate to meet end goals. The middle 50% of business operations managers can make anywhere from 65000 ish to over $100,000 because companies are all different sizes and shapes. Overall, there is a wide range of jobs business majors can take on. It just depends on your ideal career path. And if you finish your degree and decide that a career in business isn't for you, you will fortunately have some pretty highly sought after skills to bring with you to whatever your new career might be. Like you will understand how businesses operate and how markets work, the factors that make them fluctuate and how to capitalize on it. You'll gain other transferable skills like the ability to interpret basic financial data and apply it to relevant situations and crucial reporting and presentation skills. Regardless of what you decide to do next, you can count on these skills being there for you to help yourself grow and develop as you navigate the rest of your career. For better or worse, a business is really just a group of people working together to solve problems for their customers and clients. And those people are working together to generate enough revenue to pay each other's salaries, cover other costs, and hopefully have some left over. These organizations are deeply integrated into our society and how they function is vitally important to the people inside the organization, but also everyone else as well. Understanding how these systems work can be incredibly valuable, whether you are working inside of an existing organization or if you end up starting something on your own, and the business major can be a great step on that journey. Thanks for watching. If you want to investigate more degrees before choosing a major, like we all should, check out our other videos to look into more majors to find the one that's right for you. This series is part of the Study Hall program, a partnership between Arizona State University and Crash Course. If you liked this video or found it helpful, give it a like, and also you can comment to let us know how you chose your degree or how you're struggling to choose your degree or what you wish you had known before you started your degree.